guys, so I was just thinking of doing like something a little bit different. I mean, let's just face it, I think speed paints are boring. Um, there's nothing that keeps you from just skipping to the end. I've heard a lot of people say that my voice is very annoying or my, um, like I, I talk way too much and they don't really want to see or hear me talk, basically, whatever. But I also thought um, I got a lot of feedback about my art blog video that people said that it helped them a lot. So uh, I thought I wanted to do something a little bit different because I feel like speed paints. I didn't do speed paints even though it was annoying me or whatever. Uh, I did them because I was drawing anyway, so why not record it? And that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. However, I think that I don't just want to do speed paints. Um, I remember initially I wanted to do something completely else on YouTube. I wanted to, well not completely different, but more of a helping people draw. So um, I wanted to change a few things on my channel, improve them with uh, that initial idea too, where I show you a little bit more of what I do, how I learn, how my whole process of um, how I got better at art, etc, etc. So, um, what I want to do today, I want to try this out. So I haven't seen anyone do this uh, particular thing before, but uh, it exists in Korea where you basically sit in front of a camera and you live stream and you eat. So that person's eating and then in Korea, because a lot of people have to eat alone, so then they don't have to eat alone because they eat with that person that's live streaming how they eat. So um, I like to I like to do that, but not eating more drawing because uh, I remember when I was a kid, or really always, I would always have to draw alone because I wouldn't have any friends who wanted to draw with me. So I would always drew, uh, draw alone. So I wanted to do something where. We can draw together. So, um, if you're not drawing right now, then I want you to go ahead and get yourself a sketchbook or paper and a pencil, and then we would draw. So we can draw together. You know, you can let that play in the background, and then we can do that together. So that's pretty much my initial idea that I had. Um, so what I'm gonna do today is I'm just gonna work on some character design for my stories. I have two different uh, stories going right now and I want to work on them a little bit more on the character designs and on other things and yeah so I'm gonna do that while I talk to you about a few things okay so I'm gonna I, I guess I'm just gonna explain who this is so this is uh, Naoko um, I made her her name is basically from Naoko Takeuchi, which is the artist from Sailor Moon, if you didn't know. And um, I don't know, I just... Uh, I wanted to have all my characters, my main characters, be inspired by... by people that inspire me. So, obviously, um, the artist of Sailor Moon had to be in one of my stories. So, yeah. Um, Anyway, so maybe I'll just talk about how you can improve your art, or I'll talk about, I don't know, this, um, if you want to see more of this, um, I think it's a good idea if you ask me any questions or tell me what I should talk about in the next one, and then I can adapt that, and I can take it, and then I can talk about it, and then, you know, you have your questions, or whatever. So... Right now, I'm just gonna, I don't know, start drawing, um, yeah. So, I had this girl ask me once on my video, on one of my videos, because she, you know how I'm just tracing the art, and after that I, I just start coloring and inking in, on my vid, in my speed paints. And this person was like skeptical, you know, she was not very sure, like, am I really drawing this myself? Or is this just, um, like, is this someone else's art and am I just tracing it? Uh, 
I'll answer that person on the video directly, but I just want to say that I draw all my things myself, even if it is fan art. I, I one day, Once I made a video where it was not my line art, it, um, that was like on the beginning, it was like a Christmas tree. Uh, it was some line art from Bailey J, and she gave it out for free, so I colored it and I recorded it, blah blah blah. Um, but I do make my artist art, my artist, my art myself, so there's no copying or whatever um, out there. So I'm not, I'm not doing that. No. So I guess I'm gonna talk about maybe. Um, how I got into art. I guess that, that might be a little bit interesting. So, pretty much, I was just, um, so my brother, back in the 90s and whatever, um, Sailor Moon came out in Germany, and my big brother, he actually uh, bought all the mangas. So, I got some, I got all the original mangas that came out in that time from Sailor Moon. Um, in my room because I, I just got them from my sister and whatever and so basically my sister would always you saw her in other videos of mine but um, she would always like read them and uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't read them I was a little bit too small I didn't really care however I would watch the series and not whatnot so that was quite uh, interesting. I liked that. And we would watch it together. And since my sister was always like my my inspiration, my my idol kind of thing, I would basically always run after her and do whatever she would do. Pretty much. So, uh, she one day she just took a pencil and a, a piece of paper and she sat down in the middle of her room on that round table, and I still remember it very clearly. And she just sat down there, and I was like, what are you doing? And she just said, I'm gonna make my own manga. Uh, and I was like, <laughs> yeah, me too. Because obviously I was doing everything she that she was doing, so I was gonna do that too. So then we were sitting there, and we started drawing our own manga and uh, if you want me to show that off and show my old art and whatnot in a video I'm very happy to do that might be very in inspiring for some people but I still have her old art that she made on these days and I still have mine I don't have all of my stuff because I threw away so many things until one day my mom was like what are you doing? You can't throw away everything. I was like, why? I drew it. I don't like it. I'm throwing it away. I'm moving on. But for her, it was like, no, you have to keep it so you can look at it later on and uh, see how you improved. And I didn't really understand that because for me, it was just a piece of paper with some crap on it. But I guess I just kept more things after that. Because I wouldn't even just throw it away. I would burn it. Because we have like ov our ovens. We heat and we cook on wood, so I'll just throw it in the wood, you know, just in the oven, burning it, so, um, it sounds a little dark, I think, but, uh, yeah. And after that, I was like, okay, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna keep that stuff. Maybe she's right, and, uh, I wanna look back at it one day, maybe I should keep it. And she was right, now I wanna look back at it and be like, oh my god, this is insane, I was really bad. But back then, for me, that was just, it was just too much paper, like, useless pieces of paper. Uh, yeah. So, I got into art because of my sister, because of Sailor Moon, because of my brother, because of whatever. You can search this, the, the reason wherever you want to. We could go on for this, like, because of the, the per people who invented manga, I don't know. You can literally go on like that for hours and hours. Who actually made me get into it? But the initial spark was my sister. 
telling me she was gonna do her own manga and I wanted to do that too. Now it was very interesting because her manga was basically just um, two pages so she would fold the paper in half. Oh that's very up close to my head, sorry. She would just fold it in half and then she would draw on it. Uh, so it was very interesting. And um, not a lot would fit on that. So the stories were really, really simple but uh, still original. Um, it, it was Magical Girl, it's all we knew. Uh, and it was about more like, yeah, the planets were in the two, but it was a little bit more of a um, sun and, and, and like other planets than in Sailor Moon, I guess. I'm not sure, it's a long time ago. As I said, I still have it if you want to see it. But uh, she she would do just, you know, in a day she would draw a whole manga and for me it was always like, no, that's not good enough. Like my stuff wasn't good enough. And I was always like very jealous of hers because she would just finish it and that was it. She was done and I wasn't. I had to keep on going. I had to make it better. Even though my art when you look at it, my art would look more like manga and hers would look more like uh, like owned eyes kind of thing. I would still think like hers is way better, I need to improve a lot. So I would, I would basically draw a lot of floating heads um, without any body, without anything, just girls, floating girl head, heads. Um, I started drawing but guys way later um, because I was just more into girls, drawing girls, perfecting it, and going on that. Drawing guys wasn't really my thing yet, so I just I just went with the with the girls a little bit more. And then came um, years passed by, and I still had not made a single finished book. Kind of thing, you know, like a, a finished story. I never had, I was never satisfied with a story, I was never satisfied with anything I would do. So the story wasn't good, neither was the, the art wasn't good, I wasn't satisfied with any of these things. And so I would always get stuck on that. And my sister was just going on with it and being very creative and draw a lot of things, have a story, make some more characters and have some plots and there was me like a potato and just being like no, gonna start again, gonna start again and uh, I would draw nights, I would go into my bed and then I would get up again because I had an inspiration, I could draw this like that, I could draw like that. For so many years at the beginning I would not draw any real drawings so I don't have drawings from these years I only have random sketches of floating heads and um, character design and kind of thing because I didn't know how to draw I didn't know how to, how it was done how there was no one to help me the only thing I knew was um, I would start so YouTube was a thing then you know and I would go on YouTube and I would, when I had free time, I would just go there and I would start searching for um, AMVs. It was like these, these amateur slideshow things. And uh, that was my life. I would go on these things, I would look at the slideshows and then I would start drawing them, the characters of the slideshows. So every time there was something I liked, I would pause the video I would, I would start to draw that person, so um, I have quite a bit of that too, I have a lot of that I threw away and I would look at other people's art and I would try to copy it. So here's like the biggest problem, which if you want me to talk about in another video I can do that too, but um, don't get stuck on other people's art because you might think your art isn't as good as theirs, but if you are trying to make your art look the same as their art, you're just stuck. Ah, 
annoying and the, the pencil is just rolling around the table. <sighs> yeah, so you need to be careful with that. Um, and for years I had that problem. But anyhow, then I discovered more than Sailor Moon. Oh, I would also start um, tracing a lot of things. I am, a lot of people would tell me like that's cheating, you're not even an artist, you're not even drawing, you're just tracing the art, whatever. Um, I wasn't tracing it so I could say that was my idea, that was my art. It was to understand what the art is, you know, how is the, how are the proportion, proportions, oh, how, where do I place the arms, how do I, how long do I make the legs and all these things so it was more of a I'm trying to improve here kind of thing than I'm trying to copy that art and make it seem like I did this even though I just traced it I still have the original um, parchment paper kind of things that I used back then um, yeah that's that's the kind of things I did to improve my art, you know, and it's fine. I think that's very fine. Um, tracing stuff so you can understand it better is completely fine. I think it's a very good idea, actually. And uh, if you had that idea and you wanted to do that, then totally go for it. Like, I don't see the, the problem here at all. But however, a lot of people thought that I was cheating and that I didn't do it the right way, so they didn't like it. And yeah, that was a problem, but so this is fine. I would still do it, you know, so whatever. I can say whatever they want. Anyway, so it helped me. However, if you trace someone else's art again, you might get stuck on it. And uh, that would always happen to me. So I would get a new inspiration. Oh my god, that artist is so nice, so beautiful, what she's doing, or he's doing, or whatnot. And, um, and I would get stuck on it. And I would start to be like, yeah, my art has to be like that. And not just as good as that, but look like that. I thought to be a good artist, I had to draw exactly like these people. And just so you know, that's not the case at all. If you think drawing is hard, you're right. If you think your art is crap, you also might be right. I, th I always think my art is crap. Even though a lot of people say, oh, your art is nice, you deserve more subs and all these things. But in the end, I might still not just be satisfied with my work, you know? So I might still think, no, it's not, I don't deserve more subs, it's bad, I need to improve. Which is not too bad, you know, you can really get pretty depressive about it and be like, it's just so bad, I'm just, I'm a failure and whatnot. Or you can just be like, my art is bad, if I want to have a bigger following, let's say, if you're on YouTube. If you want to have a bigger following, you have to do something for it. Which, uh... There's also a reason why I wasn't on YouTube uh, for years. I could have started a YouTube channel or I did um, post some videos, two videos before and then I never posted it because I thought I wasn't good enough for YouTube. But that's another th uh, kind of story. So, um, improving was very hard for me. Um, when I look at other people on Instagram and these things, you know, um, people are younger than me, they draw way better than me, and I'm just here like, how did they do that? How is it possible for someone who drew so, so much as me to draw way worse than they do? And they're younger than me and whatnot. And that's because I was stuck for so many years. I was stuck in my own stupid thing. Being stuck on art that other people would do. That finding my art, own art style, my own kind of rhythm and whatnot was so hard for me. 
and I always thought I had to draw some like someone else, so that was the reason. And these people don't have that problem. If you have the problem right now, just um, I can recommend you something. Um, you just stop looking at other people's art. That's how I cured it, kind of thing. Uh, I just stopped looking at other people's artwork, which sounds kind of stupid. But it really did help me. So you just take off any manga, you take away any anime, you take off any kind of pictures of your walls and of other people's art, you just take all of that away. And what you're left with is your bare walls, no artwork, be it manga or realistic, no artwork. Um, you need to take off any kind of inspiration from these things and you want to get inspired by life. So that might cause an art block, which is fine. You're gonna get through it. Um, it might take some time, it might not. I want you to still watch movies. You should still watch um, normal things, you just shouldn't watch anime. Not the kind of thing you wanna, if you wanna be a manga artist, and you're going into that kind of thing, then stop watching anime and stop reading manga. Because these are the things that make you get stuck on it. So you just wanna stay away from these things. However, if you're a realistic artist, then you should get away from other realistic artists. The point is, don't look at other people's work. You can watch movies, you can watch um, TV shows, but you shouldn't watch other people's work. So that's what I did. Um, and I actually made... Because then you can discover how you would draw. So just start drawing people and things, whatever kind of an artist you are, just start drawing and uh, without looking at reference, without looking at that. You know, for me it would always be like, uh, oh, I, I, can, I can't draw that leg, like how would that artist draw the leg, you know? And that would, again, get me stuck. So just don't look at it and then it's gonna get better. And then, you know, I would, a lot of times to improve my art skills and my drawing skills, I would um, vacation, like school uh, kind of vacation, I would always, like on school break, however you want to call it, I don't know how it's called, I would always um, sit down, put on a show, binge watch the whole show throughout the two weeks that it lasts here in France, and uh, just cut myself off from any kind of social interaction and just draw. And these things are very effective because you can see how much you improve throughout that time because all you do is draw. However, I don't know if I would recommend that too much because I don't want you to get too unsocial because I know that probably we are already all pretty unsocial. So if you're doing that, um, there is a risk of your parents or whoever getting real mad at you and I don't want you to be in trouble because of me but okay so um, I think that's all I wanted to say about improving your art um, I'm just gonna say a little bit who that character is I guess or not maybe I'll do an another another video like this where I talk a bit about my character designs and why I chose them like this but for now I think I'm gonna leave this video like that and uh, just to end it I think you should be careful with art because art can be a good thing and it can be a bad thing and you have to figure it out yourself but as I said in the end you are the one who decides whether or not your art is good for you or not and 
If it is, then sh no one should take it away from you. If it's not, then maybe you should consider getting away from it. And maybe that doesn't mean you can never draw again, you know? Maybe if you're cured or whatever, then it would be fine. So yeah, I'm still not good at art. I, I still consider myself uh, able to improve a lot. And I have improved so much especially since the very beginning, but also like since last month and whatnot. So keeping these things in front of you when you're proud of one drawing, you really like that drawing, put it on your wall. And even though you loved that drawing at the time, you might not like it as much later because now it's really ugly. You can see the eyes aren't even even, even, even well. The, Maybe the mouth is all wonky and this and that and if you tell other people they're just gonna be like no it's perfect it's so beautiful but you can see that's not good and then you want to do it again and draw this again challenges are very fun and interesting because you can see how much you improved so do that also do other things and uh, you know stay away from drugs I guess and um, uh, if you like to subscribe, that would be pretty awesome. Yeah, I... <coughs> if you like this, <coughs> give it a thumbs up so I know that I could do one more. And if you want anything uh, to talk about that I talk about in the next one, uh, leave it in the comments. <coughs> Let me know if I should do one of these, but with a, uh, about all my characters what they do, why they are like this, what the whatever else, and um, so if you want to know that, uh, yeah, any questions or suggestions or critique, leave it in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Also follow me on Instagram. Bye!